Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and I have some cards I want to share with you. And uh, this is a design team project for creative scrapping. And uh, for this card here I've used, uh, or both cards, but uh, this one is uh, from uh, Pion Design and it's uh, Alma's sewing room. And uh, I will show you the papers, they are really beautiful in the end of the video, if you haven't seen them. So, this card I made for a dear friend of mine here on YouTube. And um, as you see it's uh, a house on the outside. And it's a die from Mariana Design, this one. And uh, the number is CR1217. Uh, this is really fun to use and what's great about it when you have uh, the paper inside you uh, it does emboss and then you go over with um, here I used the uh, whitewash so I just went over like so so these are really fun so I can show you a bit close up here on the front so um, there are windows that cuts out and opens so I placed some ladies inside here and a little bird on the top and uh, this I cut out twice I uh, first uh, cut it out in uh, some pink and then some brown and uh, just layered them and cut out a bit here and there on top of each other so and here is a lamp uh, post and this is a Sherry Lynn die and this comes in uh, two different sizes so I cut them out uh, twice and layered them and some seam binding inside here. So, and uh, these flowers, these are made from uh, the Nelly Snellen punches. And these are really great because they, when you punch them out with this one, you can emboss them, dry emboss them with this. So, and also the same for the leaves, this one. And uh, most of the products I uh, show here, you can get that uh, Creative Scrapping. And I will post the link to them below. So, here is a lady's wardrobe. Some cut out some birds and pop them up. <laughs> Sorry, that's my puppy who's barking. <laughs> I think he wants to say hello. So, yeah. And here is uh, Martha Stewart Cross Punch. And I went over a bit on the flowers and the grass with this uh, Distress Stain uh, Spun Sugar. So this I made as a, a card and also with uh, some gifts inside that's uh, sewing themed. So it opens up like so. And uh, here I sewed on some buttons from um, the paper and put it in uh, this uh, corner punch is uh, also from uh, Martha Stewart and some fussy cutting here and it opens up like so see if I can get it in frame here so here are some gifts I uh, just glue them down a bit like so and I have some laces here and uh, here are a card with some buttons I sewed on and there also some more tags inside behind here and um, this bench here is uh, Marianne Design bench. Oh, I forgot to take it here, but um, I used this a lot. I really love this die. So, and just some tags behind here. And here are some, this can be opened up, and uh, there are some needles inside. And all this is from the paper line. So it's so fun to use. And I cut out the lady and some flowers. Here for a pocket and here I cut out a sewing machine and here I took some uh, seam binding on so she can use and this I fastened with a magnet and I'm not sure what these are called is push buttons maybe so she can take them out and use them so this fastened with a magnet here and this uh, clothes here are uh, hanging on a crocheted uh, trim here. So, 
and uh, yeah, I made a little needle here with some thread going on up on the sewing machine and to this tiny, if you can see it, <laughs> here. So I had so fun making this card. So, and it can be stand up. I put a little, uh, uh, yeah, the top of the spool <laughs> it's supposed to be, so it can be stand up like so. So it can be displayed. I'm not sure it's showing up here like so. So on the back here, cut out the scissor, and this is a uh, AccuCut sewing uh, die. And uh, here I. Uh, uh, made a little uh, tag and it's uh, from uh, Magnolia, this one, and here I can write a message. So I also used uh, borders from the paper, it's a lot of uh, fun borders in this uh, paper line. So this was uh, the first card and I also made a Easter card. And uh, this is a different house. I think it's uh, Victorian, it's called that house. And it's a CR uh, 1218. This I also put on behind a distressed, and I used, um, you see the pink paper, and it's, uh, I used, see, uh, walnut stain and black soot over here. And also cut it out. Um, Maybe you can see it on the side here, on pop dots. So this is pop dot and this is pop dots here to create some dimensionals. And here it says uh, Happy Easter. And uh, I have some Mariana uh, design trees behind here. And uh, this tree is memory box. It's uh, this one. Let's see what it's called. Oh, uh, doesn't have a name. <laughs> Twiggy tree. Yeah. And uh, some grass here from uh, Martha Stewart Punch and also pop that up on pop dots. So it uh, is a bit bulky. And uh, this is from the Easter paper from Pion Design. And uh, this doily behind here. It's uh, Sherry Lynn. Uh, it's the large doily. So, and uh, to make some color on it, I used uh, pan pastel green, and uh, I think I also used some white here. Uh, yeah, I used some white on uh, this pink paper because it was uh, a bit too pink. So, and this is a easel card, and it folds up like so, so we can start. And uh, this is a Tim Holtz tie, fence tie. And here I cut out some more from the papers and punched out some more flowers. And here I used a green pan pastel on the leaves. And this is also a magnolia die. So you can find something here. And uh, here also, this is a Sissex uh, um, grass die. And I also used some glitter. And I also used some distress glitter on here. So I take the multi mat on first and then I sparkle some glitter over. So it's some glitter here and there in the egg pasta basket here. So yeah. Complain on the back. I think I forgot to show you the back on this card. No, I didn't. <laughs> so and uh, now I will show you the paper, if you haven't seen that. So they are so fun to use and uh, it's a lot of images to fussy cut. So I really love this line here. So it comes in both 12x12 12 12 and 6x6. So I hope I will get it in frame here. Um, here's a dress form and a chandelier. And this is the back. And the sewing machine clock here, in the back. And, uh, all this I fussy cut it for some other cards. Uh, I will have some more videos of uh, some more cards I made. I've been a lot into cards lately and it's so fun. So, and also some of them I will uh, do tutorial on. So,
them. This is back. And here are some rose paper. Some fasteners here on the back. And it's also in uh, pink. I used half of it, so <laughs> but it's also flowers on top on the other side here. And here are some scissors on the back. And here's a lot of uh, images to fuzzy cut out and some scraped here. And uh, flower paper. Here are some uh, measurements, or I'm not sure what it calls, <laughs> for dresses. And some blue flowers. And look at these cute images here. I love them. <laughs> birds I've used a lot and fussy cut out. So, like so on the back. And here are the spools I used for the seam binding and laces. And these are you can fold up and put some needles inside or just use them for decoration. And these I used for sewing on the bu buttons. And here are the stripes and uh, some butterflies on the top. Some pink on the back. And some more tags to cut out. Hope I get it all in frame here. <laughs> Black on the back. And um, here are the 6x6 six six papers. They are the same but smaller images. And uh, it's just white on the back. used up two stacks of each <laughs> now. Really love this paper. So, some smaller butterflies here to use and borders and yeah. There's a sewing machine. And, yeah. And these six by six are really great for cards. And this is the last one. So, thank you so much for watching and uh, I wish you all a happy and a great day and uh, have fun creating. Take care. Bye bye.